I haven't even, I haven't even rigged up. We pulled up to a spot. Scotty's had one cast. First cast, fish trap again. And the fish trap does it again. Uh, yeah, it's all the way down his gob. <laughs> so I'm rigging up a fish trap yeah, because. Like I said, uh, that just must have landed on his head, that one. Well, well, you know, we were going to do a whole fish trap versus whatever I'm using. Um, You've seen the light. But I've seen the light. I'm convinced now they work. <laughs> you should feel this fish. It's cold. And they and they catch a ton of fish and. It is cold, so we're fishing in about 17 degree water temps here. Um, so the river system. Have a look at that, Rodney. Guess what he's eating? What's that? A little mud skipper? Yeah, like a little gudgeon. Oh, a little gudgeon. Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. So that's um gives you a good indication of what sort of colour lures to use. Yeah, and a little darker lure. We do well on the little tango sheds in that browny black colour, so. There you go. Put that back in for Burley. <laughs> Alright, so what colour is this one, Scotty? That's a 78 mil fish trap. What's the one I'm using? Um, oh gee, orange gill. Orange gill. Let's see what we can do on the orange gill. All right, we'll get back to you when we got more fish. Oh, and away he goes. <laughs> Another one, what's he spat out now? A herring, is it? Yeah, herring line. Yeah. Yeah, he's still with a green on his mm. head. Yeah. Okay, the old fish trap again. Now that kind of tells you that, that fish is probably just sitting there, he ate it at the boat. Yeah. So again, that vibe of the, uh, of the fish trap kind of made him eat something even when he was full. I might go the smaller profile in the fish trap then. Yeah, he's cold too. He's cold too, okay. Oh yeah, he is. Oh, he's come straight out of the fridge. Anyway, put him back. Yep. Close to 40 well, yep. Yeah. All right, so I changed my lure. Came to the dark side. I come to the dark side. I've got the Zeric on in the Min Min colour in the smaller fish trap. And I think I've landed on his head. It's not a big fish, but still a fish. All right, I might just push us back off that bank. Um, yeah, so they, they scoff them down. They definitely do. Right, hooked another one and this is not a keeper it's only a small fella but again the fish trap but if you can see how hard they hit these things he had that down his gob it was only when i started retrieving him it come out a bit but yeah little min min yeah, they don't miss no <laughs> it's got forty thousand hooks in it they can't miss all right we'll get him back in only a little tacker Here. It's a big one. Oh, just that four inch one yeah. there, and just have a crack with it. Yep. Just to see if they're going to respond to that. So what are we fishing? We're fishing in a meter of water. It's a running tide, and coming up onto the flats. Yeah, which, in my opinion, is probably the worst time to fish for flathead. But and it's the luxury of picking time. No. It's never a bad time to fish. That's the thing I find with the fish trap, it's a good searching lure. So why do you think the fish trap does so well? Is it because it attracts attention, it hits their lateral lines of these flathead or? Yeah, you can watch that vibe through the rod there, you know, it's so... So, so aggressive. Fine, but then you can kind of, you look at that little tail on there, and if that sits on the bottom, the little tail does all the work too, so. 
subtle things like that or a bit more, you know, noticeable yeah. vibration, you've got all of it in one lure. But that certainly can account for a lot of fish and, you know, this is the small one, but you know, we fish the 95 and the 110 mil one for the bigger fish you know, in the deeper water later in the year. All right, so Scotty's just standing there, just dragging that lure. And we've just had a, another big fish shoot off. And we don't know what he hooked, but it was a good fish. But we've just had another real big one shoot off there. I just cast it there too. All right, I just had one pick up the lure and swim straight towards me on a fast retrieve. And you all right, fish? No, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll just him. Here we go. I wasn't even doing much. I was just dragging it along the bottom on a faster retrieve. Uh, that's it. Oh, three and a half inch with a quarter ounce jig head and a 3 0 hook. And this is how you get flatty thumb. You stick it in their mouth. <laughs> so, yeah, not a bad little fish. That was just drifting the flats and dragging a plastic on the bottom. So first drop on the drift. Fish traps. There you go, Scotty. Yeah, to a new spot. Yep. Dropped it down, wound up the slack and bang, but we're in about eight metres, seven metres of water here. Yep. Well, we found a bit of bait, didn't we? Yeah. I always hold them upside down so they don't stab me as much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good. All right. What colour is that one? That's the barred grunter. That's a more a natural colour. I donated my other pink one to the Stingray before, so this is actually still one of my favourite colours. It's good in all, 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 type all of conditions. Voice. Yep. Caught him again. <laughs> okay, so just doing that drift, and here we go. We just found a bit of bait down there, and again. Just vibing the bottom. All right, let's get him out. So it pays just to find some bait in deeper water and just vibe that bottom and you'll find the fish. All right, let's just get him out. He's going back. Just a drift and the Trevally. So you never know what you're going to get. Heaps of different species down here. Just a red spot on here. Yeah, just a little blurter. So we've got a few fish today, Scotty. Just doing this stuff. Yeah, I mean, the vibes. Catching food assortment of fish too, you know. Yeah, it's very popular. Barrelure, thread down. What is he, just a little GT? Yeah, I think they're a baby GT though. <laughs> Go and call your big brother. You got a bigger <laughs> one. It's such an easy way to fish. Yeah. Well, to produce fish. The old method of sea bagging, you know. Pop the lure up. Once you feel it. Yep. You're still trying to drop it back down to the bottom, you know. Keep contact with the bottom or work. Thank you.